to nothing. With Bob Greasy, Paul McGuire, and Bonnie Bernstein, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us here in Knoxville, where the Vols have their best starting field position, and they might have another touchdown. Ontario Hardesty is gone. He's in. Breaking tackles down the sideline. Still second down and goal, remember. Draw, Walker again, sprinting left, looking for the angle. Got Scott on him, dies for the pylon. Touchdown! <laughs> Notre Dame leads for the first time this season. Sell them a few adult beverages and they'll have a good old time. Trust me. Here we go now. Third down, ladies and gentlemen, at 15, 628. They'll bring the action to you. In trouble. Going down. The Irish defense with Maurice Crum, number 40, leading the assault that time. Holds the lead. And he's got it. Stop until they reset the chains. Underneath, too high. Intercepted. Picked off by Michael Ray Garvin on an overthrow, and that's it. Gino Hayes is the guy that's going to bring the pressure. He got rolled up on in the pile, or what the deal was. Second down and nine for Boston College, the back side of the eye. Callender's the deep back. Complete. Brought down at the one yard line. Tony Gonzalez with another clutch reception for Boston College. Quarterback goes close to 6'6", 225. I think they'll sneak again here. Second and goal. Keeps it again. This time he scores. Touchdown, Eagles. Another heartbreaker. Third and a long two. Ryan incomplete. And Ryan Oliger, who is just 50% on the season, will come onto the field. Made one from this distance earlier, then subsequently missed from 36. Good snap, and he just punches this one through. Boston College leads by three. But Clemson now has an opportunity on offense. First and ten for the Tigers. Proctor. Stuckey. At the two-yard line. Chancey Stuckey makes the catch. If they're going to win in this first overtime. Merriweather's the lone back to the right of Proctor. Stuckey in motion to the top of your screen. Proctor swallows it, and they sack him back at the 16. Larkin again. And it's third and goal. They have the game on the line here, Jonesy. Dean made one from 26, missed one from 52 earlier today. This one coming from 30 yards out. They got it down, and he drills it through. We're tied at 27. On to the next overtime period. Next little hit to finish off the play from the Boston College. Second out of the shotgun. Got it. Stucky. Short of the end zone. Less than a yard out. Ball. Davis. Touchdown. Clemson takes the lead. Here's the fullback helping out with the blocking. Oh, it's tipped, and it's blocked. Jalon Dunbar came up with a huge play. And the lead is six and not seven. If you were saving a down field goal situation, the field goal's out. So I think Boston College, they may keep it on the ground here. Whitworth is the deep back lining up out of the eye. It's his time. LV 
nicely for the touchdown. I mean, they were hungry the way they finished off that drive. Big extra point, Jonesy. Oliger in for what you would think would be a routine extra point. And Boston College wins. It's over. Give you that trust to call any play you want. Deontay Johnson, the fullback, trying to drop the hammer. For the end zone, they want the signal. Nothing yet. On the carry. Touchdown, Antonio Pittman. And the Buckeye Nation has this one in hand now. It would take a Texas miracle. Leaf fake. Pitch to Martinez. Touchdown, Oregon. Wow. Oh, what a play. Brady Leaf with the fake, the option play, and Martinez is in the end zone. From the 44-yard line of the Bulldogs, Oregon blitzes. Nelson's after him. Nelson's got him. J.D. Nelson with the sack. His second career sack, and oh, what a time for it. Penalty, this should do it. And it's going to go right to an Oregon duck. Intercepted. Intercepted by Patrick Chung. And Mike Bellotti becomes the winningest coach in Oregon football history. Out of his hand, and he falls on it. And then it's taken away and picked up by Michigan. Lamar Woodley. He's running out of gas. <laughs> Touchdown! He didn't run out soon enough. He was on empty, but he had fumes left. Play fake, Leak pulls up, got a man wide open. A defender slips, and Dallas Baker has a touchdown. Second time tonight, 21 yards. Same exact play from a different formation that they ran before. Florida's bringing four. Ainge intercepted, picked off at the 23-yard line. It's Reggie Nelson, number one, his second interception tonight. Chris Leak. This, remember we talked about Vern? Chris Leak, this is what he worked for for three years to get this type of game. We've talked about the absence in his career of a signature win. What do you think? I think he's got it. But it's only going to get bigger, and he's going to enjoy it, because that's why. When you win big games, you get more big games to play. minute and it's now third down and five got to throw to the 10-yard line because pressure Joe Cox lost it up looking for Milner touchdown Georgia What? 
50 yard touchdown strike to Martrez Milner, the much maligned tight end. With his first touchdown reception of the year, what a huge play on third and five. The point after to give the Dogs a lead is dead, solid, perfect. And the Bulldogs, with 46 seconds to play, have found a way. It has not been pretty, but they have found a way to take the one-point lead here at home. Hurry, you've got to be up on the ball when they get ready to snap it. Jackson over the middle. And the pass is picked off by the Bulldogs. Tony Taylor, who's had a huge game with the interception for the Bulldogs with three seconds to go. And Georgia will survive. And I mean survive a scare for the Colorado Buffaloes. The oh, boy. Mr. And missed two. Watch the screen in this situation. Here's Mustaine. He's going deep in the corner. Uh -oh. Up in the air. Intercepted. Picked off by Lionel Mitchell. He's still running free. P.J. <laughs> Fitzgerald will hold. Lee Tiffin for the win. Play fake. Man wide open. Touchdown. Nick Walker, the tight end. Has a one-man pattern. Just the tight end. They sold out. Tiffin for the extra point. Oh, my Missed gosh. It. How in the world? Missed it right. That's four kicks today. Wide right. Rush three and drop eight. In the corner. It's caught. Touchdown. Springdale freshman to Springdale freshman. Mustaine to Cleveland. And the extra point is next. Jeremy Davis has missed one today. Jacob Skinner will hold it. The kick is out. Arkansas wins. with a nightmarish day. One of four field goals, a missed extra point. So the situation, 15.8 seconds left from the shotgun. Pumped it once, now steps up into the pocket, going for the distance, in the end zone, the ball is caught by Dunlap. Caught with 8.5 seconds showing on the clock. And NC State goes on top. Ready? Sneakers. <laughs> On second and 12, Newton fires over the middle, wide open for a touchdown. Jared Cook, the tight end. <laughs> Newton pump fakes to the right, looks down the middle, has a man. It's a tight end, dropped. Jared Cook, who caught the tight end a few minutes ago, had another one in his grasp, couldn't hold on. Made the catch in the previous two. Pressure up the middle, locking in the end zone, jump ball, incomplete. That time there were two defenders in the neighborhood of Sidney Rice, and on fourth and short, they toss it in the end zone. With no timeouts remaining there, I guess he felt like he needed to take his shot. All the deal of the running backs. Blitz coming. Oh boy, they almost got there. No, it's intercepted. And then fumbled. The ball is loose. Who got it? Looks like Reggie Nelson 
It began with the blitz from Earl Everett. Earl Everett forced John Parker Wilson to throw the ball off his back foot. He First and ten. Leak goes in the corner, one-on-one. -on -one. Touchdown, Dallas Baker. Over on the sideline, Mike Shula's on the field, jumping up and down. Here's John Parker Wilson, that's going to be picked off. Reggie Nelson, he could go a long way. Reggie Nelson flies down the sidelines. John Parker Wilson misses him. Touchdown, Florida! at this point since there's only 14 left. Here comes the pressure again. Brink runs away from it. Throws over the middle. Caught. First down Washington State inside the 40. Michael Bumpus with five seconds left. Not trying to get up to the line of scrimmage. Bumpus 11 catches 112 yards but it's come down to this. Three wide receivers out to the right. Three man rush. Brink looking. Throws. Ball. Intercepted USC, they win the ball game. Taylor Mays, the true freshman, his first collegiate interception. USC will walk out of Pullman with a 28-22 win. No timeouts remaining. Oh, jump pass. How about that? Oh, my gosh. That looks like 1955. Holy cow! In the backfield with Jamarcus Russell. With time, hit from behind as he lets it go. Tipped in the end zone. Intercepted. Tony Joyner takes a knee. He was very, very, very close to coming out of the end zone. Felix Jones and Hillis. They sent Jackson in motion. The pitch comes outside and dancing in for six, Arkansas. Felix Jones. Running game and the play action to give him the time back there and make plays. He'll set up and throw. Fifth sack of the afternoon by Arkansas's defense. Now some of these sacks, let's, let's, get, let's not make celebrate a little bit. You did something not many people do. Come into Auburn, Alabama and leave with a smile on your face. Houston Nutt and the Razorbacks of Arkansas on the road. They beat number two Auburn 27 to 10. 50 and that was to the hated Steve Spurrier when he was in Florida. Foster to the outside, dives for the goal line, touchdown. Right in front of the linesman, he extended that arm and got the ball over the plane to the goal line. They split it each way and under center McGee. McGee in the option. He's got an open lane. Touchdown! Mike Bates had a three-yard carry. A hit anyway. A two-point conversion attempt here. Javorski laying the fake. They run the option. McGee takes it in. Stephen McGee converts for two. And it is 25-19. A&M on top. Feel like I guess they don't feel like their defense can hold up and, and get the football back for them, so they're selling out right here on fourth down. Fourth down, one for two today, and fourth down conversions, and uh, they've got three receivers to the near side. Quarterback sneak. It is flipped at the last minute and carried close to a first down, but we're going to wait. I don't think he got there. Trying to get to the edge against a fast defense, oh. it, it just won't work. And the Aggies' defense is held again. I think, it, I mean, you, know, you hate to say bad play calling, but in that situation, I, I think it was just that. You play right into the hands of the, or the strength of AM's defense. And now. Here's Hart for an easy touchdown. And folks, let me say it right now it's not a two team race for number two in the country, it's a three team race. Need six to stay alive. No chance. Michigan wins it. No chance. 
throw a high percentage pass and let somebody run with the ball. Don't throw the ball down the field. Wilbur to kick to Dunn. Look out! First punt of the game, not used to being in the game, did not handle the snap cleanly, and that led to the block. Florida is stunned. The point after, and Auburn takes the lead. Long two, short three, whatever you want to call it. Leak back in. Fakes the win. Look at the throw. This might be a fumble. Yeah, they put the pot, the thing down. Picked up by Blackman. Blackman was nearly able to go the length of the field. Quentin Rhodes. Now the Gators. A little over three minutes to go. Pressure coming in his second. Six-yard return. And it looked like Leaf was hit as he threw. Loaded up the far side. Vaughn delivers this time. Hook and ladder. He's going to throw. Got a receiver wide open. Touchdown, Swift. Nebraska leads it. It's a big third and three. They're going to throw for it. Got it. First down from all Texas. Texas jumped on the ball. They throw for the first down. The receivers insisting he was down. They give it to Texas on the turnover. The line judge. 22 yards. Right through. Great job by that young man to step up and do that. Ryan Bailey. Take it earlier. Third and goal. No doubt about this. Touchdown, Tennessee. Arian Foster. Third and 19. again. Tennessee wins it by three. On second and goal from the three. He gets the snap, drops back to pass, wants to throw, sets up, scrambling straight ahead, flings it to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Joey Thomas, the tight end, caught it as McGee, under pressure, sort of shot-putted the ball into the end zone for the score with three seconds left in regulation. All right. Keep an eye on the wings if there's a fake. Bennett is a wing on the left side. Snap high, ball down, kick on the way. It's good. Looks like we're headed to overtime. 
tied at 27 with three seconds left. Gets the snap. Keeps it on the zone. Reed running on the left side. He dives toward the end zone. Did he get in? They're going to say he's just short. He's just short of the goal line at about the half yard line. <laughs> Offset off. It's a handoff to Lane straight ahead, and he bulls his way into the end zone, but there's a flag down. There's a flag down at the one-yard line. Well, well, well. Let's see what that's about. Maybe it's a penalty against the offense. We'll see. Eight in the box for the Aggies. Robinson gets the snap, drops back to pass, under pressure, throws the right side for Adarius Bowman. He makes the catch. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. There's a flag that comes down at the four-yard line. Are they going to call offensive pass interference? No, no, it's on AM. AM. It's a touchdown, I believe. Right footed kicker is Jason Ricks. Snap back, ball down. Line drive kick is blocked. It's blocked, and AM wins. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Third and 10. Taylor in the second half. Now four for 17, just 58 yards. Georgia has uh, a first down now. The handoff, there's a fumble. That one is loose, and the Gators pick it up, and it is touchdown, Florida, Ray McDonald. Three. 2.49 to go. Leak for the option. They reverse it. Bring it near side. No way! Face mask. And a flag. Face this mask. might give Florida the first down. Quentin Moses. Incidental face mask on the defense. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. It'll result in a first down. With that USC loss, if they run the table, they're going to be standing up and say, we deserve to play for the national championship. Georgia is going to make a strong argument. Excuse me. Florida is going to make a very strong argument about it. Florida has got to be a part of any conversation. Absolutely. Booty this time goes for Smith. He's got a touchdown. With seven seconds remaining and a two-point conversion to come. Right, Jared left. They need the two-point conversion. They go this time. It's knocked down. It's knocked down, and the Beavers are going to win it. Possession flag, probably for excessive celebration, and I don't believe it's going to matter to anything. Here with seven seconds remaining. It has popped up, it was handled by Oregon State, and that will be it. And everybody is going to come out of the stands and onto the field here to celebrate, although the game still has four seconds to go. The game is not the job me. If anybody deserves this, he deserves this. What a great boost for his program. And that's going to be that. And here come the fans. And why not? They haven't had an opportunity to celebrate like this. They have beaten this USC team now for only the third time in 39 years. The freshman Allen back deep in the eye formation. Gets the handoff. Steps to his right. Powers to the end zone. Standing up. I'll vote them three as well. Skeptics will say, well, they got outgained by 80 yards and survived this game on two numbers. And there is the sack they've been waiting all night for as they finally converge on White. And that'll be the final play of Louisville's biggest home game ever. And here comes the crowd from all four corners. They celebrate by stopping on the logo. Satisfying for Brian Brown in a very frustrating night for Steve Slayton. For the win. And Ennis wins it for the Terrapins. A terrific. Davis Wright. 
Tennessee appears to bring four. They do. Russell back into the end zone. It's caught. Only do set touchdown. Set it. Could it be Jamarcus Russell's signature win? He. Here's the final play. Think about this as Crompton goes back. He'll run it, pull up, being chased, and drops it. That will be recovered by Tennessee. On the first offensive play of this half, Jamarcus Russell threw a duck, yep. and it was intercepted by Demetrius Morley, returned for a touchdown, came back and led them to a victory. For the lead. Got very quiet in here. Missed it. A flag is down. A flag is down before the ball was snapped. Ito hooked it. Louisville is offsides. Wow. Louisville off offsides. Number 21 on the defense. Five yard penalty for the line of scrimmage. Down. Last time he pulled his head up. So the uh, quarterback uh, draw has been yeah. very effective as well today. Very much so. Third and goal from the nine. You're right. There it is. Oh. How effective is that? Oh. You called it, partner. You called it. Matthew Stafford having a career day. <laughs> Looks like a... Looks like a quarterback Mark Rick used to coach back in the day at Florida State by the name of Charlie Ward. That's the kind of day he's having. Third down and goal for Texas. They've got to get it in. This clock push keeps losing. And it's a touchdown. They get it in. And uh, Obamaya takes that one in. He has not been in the football game either. On sidekick this year, the Longhorns of Texas. So if they do it, it'll be the first one. And there it is. There it is, and it was bouncing around, but uh, it looks like Kansas State has it. A bouncing football on the first onside kick that Texas is Kansas State program, and there are going to be some excited fans here tonight as he will knee the football down. Texas can't stop it. A tremendous upset at Kansas State. Players and fans are on the field as Kansas State will beat Texas in a stunning upset 45 42 it is over mac brown and ron prince found each other and now just a swarm of humanity he's gonna fire for it in zone got it touchdown goes back to robisky brian robisky as jim trestle fires away Away from the pressure, still has to throw and does. Complete touchdown, Michigan. Bounce right back and it hit Tyler Ecker. So two fellas who have not caught a ball all day, Massey and Ecker, catch them here. And now Michigan closes back in to within five. Throws for it and he's got it. It's a three-point game on Breston's two-point conversion. They're going to kick it to the kicker's left. Here it is, onside kick, battle for the scrum, and Ted Ginn right there wraps it up for the Buckeyes. Remember now Michigan out of timeout. Two. Snaps it on two. Game over. Ohio State will play for a national championship. Will rush three, no, well, maybe five, six. six. He's gonna bring six. Cox in the corner, man coverage, receiver open. Touchdown, Auburn. Prichet Rodriguez, number 15, from 22 yards out. It's on the left hash. The try for two. Toss, 
going to throw it. Yep, Carl Stewart, wide open, got it. Lee Guest, number 25. Second and Auburn playing with two men 20 yards downfield. There's the pass intercepted. Picked off by David Irons. That should do it. Nineteen fifty four to nineteen fifty eight, the Auburn Tigers won five in a row over Alabama. Shug Jordan was the head coach. This is going to be a flag and a personal foul on Terrence Jones, number fifty five. We talked about Mike Shula in the, in the beginning of this football game. Now it comes back. Lost four in a row. Major disappointment. This might be the worst schedule that Alabama's ever had. I mean, this is a team, a, a schedule they should have won. I think he's officially on the clock next year. Yes. Well, I'm not sure. I don't want to put any significance on this, but Mal Moore, the athletic director, occupies the booth next to us in the press box. And... Uh, they left early. The disappointment for the entire athletic department in Alabama is overwhelming, and the thumbs are up for the Auburn Tigers. Wow, holy. Davila throws on the run as his tight end Brent Selleck. Selleck looks for a couple of blocks across the 50. 40. So it's still at his feet at the wow. top. Are you step. kidding me? 83 yards. A different play. No. Dick, deep left, man coverage. There's a battle and it's incomplete. There are no flags. Intended for London Crawford, the freshman. Two good football teams. Arkansas will go to Atlanta to take on Florida with a 10 and 2 record. Third down and at nine. They're in Florida State Territory. Leaks going into the end zone with it. A lot of bumping and it's caught. Touchdown. Dallas Baker. He beat Tony Carter on the 25-yard touchdown pass. What a job by Chris Leak and company. Yeah, what a job. What a job of standing in the pocket when you know you're going to get hit in the chops. And Another for out of the gun. Had to pick that ball up off the turf. Over the middle. It is blocked. Incomplete. Florida gets the football back. Ray McDonald knocking it down. And the Gators, all they got to do now is hang on with under a minute left to go. For the Trojans, Joya will spin this one. And the Trojans have not only got it, they're going to take off for the end zone. And here comes Brian Cushing. Busts into the end zone. Touchdown. And how special is it for this young guy from New Jersey, from Bergen Catholic High School? It came down to Notre Dame or USC in recruiting. That's a special moment for this guy. Deflected, intercepted on the deflection. What a play by Eric McNeil. The senior backup linebacker from Carson, California. The deflection and the pick. And Joy reigns in Michigan and Florida. Reverse. Right side, Andre Caldwell. He throws it. Second down and nine. Casey Dick goes deep for Washington in the end zone. Intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Smith. Hamstring and all. On the SEC championship under the old ball coach, Steve Spurrier. That was in 2000. Here's the final play of this ball game, and the Florida Gators are the 
2006 Southeastern Conference champions. Third down and two. D'Angelo Bryant, all 245 of them is a tailback. They fake it to him. They give it an idle end on the end of round. First down, ball game, Wake Forest right there. Joe Anawai will bring him down. It won't matter. And now the celebration can begin on the Wake Forest sideline. Notice how he stayed in bounds. Big coming into tonight. They're one for one in red zone opportunities already tonight. Third and goal. Nice quarterback draw here, too. Thompson sets, throws for Kelly. Wow. The in or out of bounds. The yeah. officials looking at each other. They say touchdown. They took their time to make the call. Grixby was the defender. It is a spectacular night in the Valley of the Sun. We welcome you to the University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona for the first ever Tostitos BCS National Championship game. The second ranked and once beaten University of Florida Gators go toe to toe with the undefeated and number one ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. Two wides, five wides. Are they going to try and run the ball a little bit different? Who knows? We'll find out soon. Joey Ehas bangs it away, and this is Ted Ginn, Jr. And across the 20, slips a couple of tackles, and Ginn, down the sideline, will race to the end zone. What a start for Ohio State. Second leading rusher during the season. And Lee out of the shotgun. Throws caught by Dallas Baker. Touchdown Gators. Saddle up, boys and girls. <laughs> we had a wild one here. Here's where you watch for number 11. And sacked from behind is Smith by Derek Harvey. See if they come after him right here, Tom. That's win in motion, and Leak rolls right. Open receiver. Catch is made by Cornelius Ingram. He's inside the 10, close to the 5. To back the showing blitz, now he slid out into a spot. The option. Sniffing the end zone. Did he get in? Touchdown! Percy Harvin. Pressure, they're taking him into checkout. Well, what a big blow that would be for Ohio State. Sacked is Smith again by Derek Harvey. He's on the field with only three down linemen rushing. And here comes an all out blitz. And it is intercepted at the 28 yard line. That's Reggie Lewis. Set. See if they go with some type of run pass option with Lee. They give it to Win, and the kid from Cincinnati gets into the end zone. Antonio Pittman again, and he breaks it to the outside. Cuts it back, touchdown, Pittman! and they're going to get the ball in his hands once again. Plenty of daylight for Percy Harvin. And the freshman from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Hard attempt is long this year, 33. And he hammers it right down the middle. Hello, Chris Hennett. They're going to run a play. And did he get enough? That extra lunge by Wells wasn't enough. If not, Florida's going to get the ball back. They are denied by the Gator defense. Good snap, good hold, and a great kick again by Hetland. How about that? And they're going to come out throwing. A Smith 
is caught from behind. The ball is loose. Harvey has it. Florida ball at the five. Pass option available to him with Tebow. Tebow. There he is. Touchdown, throw to Andre Coldwell. Allowed 10 points per game this season. After the point after attempt by Headland, the Gators are about to fire up a 34 spot on the Buckeyes. Blitz coming. Smith looking for help. None there. And down he goes. In the arms of Earl Everett. <laughs> Moss coming, and he got it. It's four years at Florida. Three different offensive systems, if you will. Leak breaks it to the outside and steps out of bounds. First down, Gator. Tebow straight ahead. Getting a little chippy in there, guys. The frustration coming out, I'm sure. Not sure there was a flag, maybe an inadvertent flag. A lot, there's a lot of talk after the play, though. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Smith pressured. Escapes it for the time being, and down it goes. Fifth time he's been indications, and this is going to do it for the second time in 100 years of football at the University of Florida. The Gators celebrate as national champions.